hope you're right, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so as you can tell the title, today's video is going to be a chit chatty video. It's been a while since I've done a talkie video with you guys. But the best time to do it might as well be now since I've hit my two year mark. So yes, it's been two years since I have been natural. I don't know where time's gone. I literally remember the day I cut off all my hair and having mixed emotions, mixed feelings. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm happy I done it. I mean, it's not a big deal, it's just hair, but I was just happy that I was able to have the patience to carry on this natural hair journey. <laughs> As you can see, I got a bit extra of the props and decided to add some balloons to celebrate. <laughs> I know it's a bit extra for some people, but you know, it's all fun and games. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys what I've learned about my natural hair. Probably five things I've learned about my natural hair and five things to expect if you're thinking of going natural. All these things are my experiences. I repeat, are uh, mine. My experiences. So my experience may be totally different from your experience. And I'd love to know your experiences, your thoughts. Leave them down below, get chatting, I'd like to know what you guys think and if you shared some experiences that I shared, if you share some of the thoughts that I share, if you agree or disagree, leave them down below. Five things that I've learnt being natural. Number one, everyone's hair growth is different. Someone's hair may grow fast, another person's hair may go slow. Now the thing is, you should not compare your hair growth to someone else's one because if you do, what it's going to do is drain you and frustrate you. Everyone's hair grows differently. The time period is different. This may be due to genetic hair. There's various reasons. The most important thing to do is just accept the rate at which your hair grows. And an easy way to do this is basically stop comparing your hair growth to someone else's hair growth. Just let it inspire you to take care of your hair, but do bear in mind, everyone's hair growth is different. So number two, there are different hair types or different curl patterns. Once you become a natural, you realize you'll hear it all the time. You hear 4A, you hear 4B, you hear 3C, you hear TQ, I'm joking. All hair types are beautiful. It's a big shame that there's actually some discrimination in one's curl pattern and some, some people may feel inferior and some people may feel it's superior just because of a curl pattern but at the end of the day it's all curly hair whether coily or curly. It's just hair. Learn to love your curl pattern and stop comparing yourself to someone else. And for those that are wondering, my hair type or my curl pattern, I don't know whether it's type or curl pattern, is a full See. Number three, do not be a product junkie. You will end up spending loads of money if you rush out to buy everything that everyone has raved about, everything everyone suggests, everything that you see everyone having, you just want to buy, 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 buy. Before you realise you're going to have a corner shop in your house full of hair products and you're going to realise you're not even going to use half of the things that you <laughs> But obviously experiment with different products but stick to what your hair likes and whatever your hair likes and make that your routine I feel like this as you get to know your hair more you end up with a simple routine some people have loads of things they will use loads of products and it works for them for me I'm very simple when it comes to my hair routine I don't use a lot if you want to know what I use I'll link a video here and you can see all my information about my natural hair care routine and all that stuff number four Four. Going on back to the curl pattern or curl type, as I mentioned already, I'm a 4C sister. But yeah, what I have learnt, I experience less breakage when I basically detangle my hair when it's wet. So make sure you detangle your hair whilst your hair is wet. Whether it's after you've washed your hair or whether you get a spray bottle and spray your hair to make it damp, make sure you detangle your hair once it's wet and not when it's dry because one, it's going to hurt and two, you're going to experience a lot of breakage. That's what I've learned from my personal experience. I'm the same idea with detangling your hair while it's wet. For me personally, I feel like the best tool to use are my fingers so my combs are with me anywhere I go. I feel like I have more control over my hair when I tangle my fingers and I also feel like I've experienced less breakage once I use my fingers because I have more control and more grip of my hair. Number five, fifth thing that I've learned about my natural hair is my hair is dry as heck. So, 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 so dry. So what I've grown to know is shea butter and coconut oil will be your best friends. Those two will be your best friends if you have dry hair. Those two are the secrets to, you know, the unlock, the unlock, the level to dryness. Shea butter and coconut oil, get those two saviors for me. So again, my personal experience, now I'm going to mention five things to expect once you go natural. Keep it, keep it.